Alhamdulillah, the party moderators will enjoy the lecture. Uh, she's going to present highlights in some neurological emergencies. Please go ahead. Thank you. Uh, good morning. Uh, good morning. I'm Dina Khatib, lecturer of pediatrics and pediatric neurology. First of all, I want to thank Professor Makamusi for this informative presentation about some of the most frequent neurological emergencies. Uh, one of the most frequent neurological emergencies is altered mental state. Confusion is impairment of mental state in a previously had a child, and consciousness is the awareness of self and relationship environment. Presentation can range from silence to agitated. Etiology identification is a crucial step in treatment among these etiologies are the metabolic diseases, intoxication, poisoning, intracranial infections, infected causes, stroke, uh, hyperglycemic crisis, shock, and convulsions with post active state. Uh, we have to take history about the onset and duration, the presence of new events, precipitating factors, and risk factors, doing thorough examination, including systemic examination, assessment of temperature, hydration, blood pressure, recognize red flags and recognize and movement observations, assess the mental status by the gas performance score or a more simplified uh, scoring system, which is the ADBU score, and do neurological examination. Gallup's performance score assessment can be done by quick verbal response questions such as what is your name, where are you from, what month is it, commands for uh, uh, motor response assessment such as squeeze hand, stick out tongue, trapezius bench for up to 10 seconds. This is the Gallup's performance score with the assessment of the eye opening response, the verbal response and motor response to different stimuli. And this is a modified gas performance score for children less than five years, giving B5 to the adult child, B4 when there is less than the usual ability for spontaneous rapid cry, B3 when he tries to wait, B2 moans to wait, and B1 when there is no response to wait. And here we can differentiate between the abnormal and normal flexion to major stimuli. Uh, in which the abnormal flexion, the full feet slow stereotype or movement across the chest, the full arm rotates, the thumb clenched, and length expands. While normal flexion with the feet rapid, variable, and uh, movement of the arm away from the body. What are the red flags that I should search for in a patient presenting with a disturbed consciousness? The red flags are the presence of new or involving neurological symptoms, the presence of signs of raised intracranial pressure, the presence of focal neurological signs, change in the gas performance score or the ADBU score, the presence of abnormal uh, cardiorespiratory status or blood pressure. The investigations that should be done at the emergency unit include capillary blood glucose, blood gases, laboratory blood glucose, urea and electrolytes, plasma lactate and plasma uh, ammonia, level function tests, full blood count and film, blood culture, urine analysis, and lumbar puncture if there is no contraindication for lumbar puncture. We have a lot of people who have lumbar puncture, a uh, assessment of opening pressure. Uh, work group in animal psychology, culture and sensitivity, PCR if you are suspecting the presence of herpetic encephalitis, and of course, the CSF sample, the pressure sample, and we can make a sample to be stored for future tests. The emergency management of coma, uh, we are starting with the initial suspicion measures, ABC. We can use the vital color if there is history of heart trauma. Uh, you have to check the blood glucose level and treat hypoglycemia if it's present. If the patient is not hypoglycemic, you have to take blood samples before treating the patient with IV fluids. And if the patient is shocked, you have to give him shock therapy with about 10 mL per kg uh, of isotonic saline and assess the gallus coma score. That's the wise approach how to deal with the patient presenting with a certain conscious level to the ER, starting with the uh, ABC. Uh, labs and his have a treatment way in intuition, we call it intuition, we call dependent on the gallus coma score and the presentation. Now, gallus coma score is element of the deteriorating gallus coma score, or uh, uh, if there is evidence of brain herniation, or if the patient is unable to protect his airway. Uh, if there is evidence of herniation, you have to do head elevation 20 degrees above the horizontal, give hypertonic saline. Uh, uh, do a new surgical consultation and make your request. And if the patient is in status abilities, three status abilities. And once the patient is stable, uh, proceed for neuroimaging, 
the form of non-conscious brain CV, MRI brain, and consider MRE and MRV if you are suspecting the presence of stroke uh, when the patient is presenting with signs of lateralization. Ask for to make a T2 cut, the menta shaking in the demyelinating CNS disorder, such as L Adam. Um, uh, the potential risk for CNS infection, as a suspicion, clinical suspicion for CNS infection, should be uh, uh, present if you find a child less than 12 uh, months presenting with fever, stages, signs of meningeal irritation, with a history of otitis media or mastoiditis. In uh, here, they have to start empirical antibiotics with energetic doses of vancomycin plus either surgeonation, thalosporin, sporin, or meropenin, or maximum. Now, the patient that has a history of neurosurgical uh, intervention. You can add antiviral medication, you can add a herb. Now, the patient has a history of genital suspicion of herpetic encephalitis, and you can add IV dexamethasone. Do not postpone antimicrobial therapy for lumbar puncture or neuroimaging. A neuroimaging should be obtained before lumbar puncture. Lumbar puncture is contraindicated in bleeding tendency when a platelet count is less than 40,000 or prolonged uh, eye and eye, or when the patient is in status epilepticus, has spinal dysrhythm, impending herniation, or with gastrocoma score 12 or rapidly less than 12 or rapidly deteriorating gastrocoma score. Herniation is due to difference in pressure between brain compartments for the chest or diet mechanical damage, ischemia, hemorrhage, secondary to vascular distortion. And the most important thing is that we have a herniation with tonic stages, because uh, 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 you shouldn't mistake tonic pushing due to colonization with tonic stages. If you give benzodiazepine in colonizing patients, this may cause respiratory depression, which may cause hypercapnia and increase the cerebral blood flow. Uh, upper herniation is because exilateral circling in nerve region with a high amount of dilated on the active pubic unilateral. Transtentorial herniation is a fixed inside pubis with decortical posturing. Uh, an active recovery is possible from this stage with decortical posturing by often with a rigid flexion of arms and extension of legs. The following magnet herniation about holding people have fixed pinpoint pupils, this separate posturing, active recovery is not possible and consider brain stem functions and this separate posturing before in the form of rigid coordination of arms and legs. Four years old girl, near drowning, is sustained and cardiac output uh, uh, restored at same intubated and ventilated water than you look practice. Patients who are suspected to prolong the hypoxia and decrease the perfusion will have secondary ischemia that will in turn lead to secondary edema and increased intracranial pressure that will lead to more and more reduction in the perfusion and more and more ischemia with the eye for the virtual circle and as they will move into a different area and accelerate intracranial pressure. How to deal with this patient? You have to do 30 degrees head up. Uh, uh, head should be in the midline, avoid kinking, minimize handling or suction, treat stages, use hyper smaller therapy with either manitol or hypertonic saline, uh, and you can uh, finally reach the compressive pinectomy that can be life saving. The lumbar puncture, the actual contraindications for lumbar puncture are the, the presence of a due or fluctuating level of conscious level, gas coma score less than 9 or a drop 3 or more, the presence of signs of raising intracranial pressure, a bulging continent in the absence of other signs of raising intracranial pressure is not a contraindication. The relative contraindications are the presence of septic shock or hemodynamic compromise, significant respiratory compromise as obvious, new local neurological signs, uh, or INR more than 1.5, completely count less than 50,000 uh, stages with the previous 30 minutes. In summary, perform a lumbar puncture as a primary investigation unless this is contraindicated. Uh, performing lumbar puncture should never delay life saving interventions such as antibiotics, delay but do not forget a lumbar puncture, careful preparation, including appropriate monitoring, adequate analgesia, and an experienced assistant are critical to success. Delaying lumbar puncture for averaging can result in poor outcome. And if you suspect CNS infection, clinically, give the first dose of antibiotic until you arrange for sticky brain before lumbar puncture. Antibiotic brain treatment in pediatric age group does not modify white disease. CSF1 disease count will absolutely be free count. It might cause higher CSF glucose levels and might lower the CSF protein levels. Then we uh, have a presentation that we took uh, the ER uh, here at Bromley from the stages of the status epilepticus, which is a condition resulting either from failure of the mechanism responsible for stage termination or from the initiation of mechanisms. 
which led to a normally prolonged stages of atrial point C1, and it's a condition which can have long term consequences up to atrial point of C2, including neuronal death, neuronal injury, and alteration of neuronal networks depending on the type and duration of stages. And for generalized chronic stages, C1 is 5 minutes, C2 is 30 minutes. The stepwise approach how to deal with a patient presenting with a status and that is first of all we are doing the ABC measures. Starting the our after access, the better pass on our after access have been in lower band, our metazola, our diazola. Now we have to show our after access maybe in the in one and in the metazola, bumpery, our diazola, rectally. Then we have to reassess the patient if uh, he is still convulsing, we can add the second dose when the first line uh, treatment. Uh, then if the patient is still convulsing, we can be loading those men a little bit as in habit, comforting the gap that may be over five minutes, then we will reassess the patient. The risk of convulsing can it be a fairly toy or a fetal word, a dose of 20 mg that may be over 20 minutes, we will reassess the patient. The list of compounding, we have to uh, uh, send the patient to a PQ, moving in the infusion service with metazolam or acetic drugs such as ketamine, sarcantide, or ibuprofen. Finally, a stroke. When stroke here, a sudden occlusion or rupture of several arteries or veins resulting from total cerebral damage and clinical neurological deficits, what is brain attack defined as apparently uh, abrupt onset focal dysfunction? Will be caused by the brain, the drive, and every drive stages, face forces, stroke, demyelinating CNS disorders, and others. The most commonly common underlying conditions of arterial ischemic strokes are central cell disease and congenital or acquired heart diseases, had trauma, vasculopathy, anemia, leukocytosis, post traumatic disorders, or emboli, and between cardiac impact uh, or end. The most common risk factors for cerebral, cerebral cytomenous thrombosis are dehydration, post traumatic disorders, infections, heart diseases, and others. Uh, approach to a child presenting with possible a stroke, suspect stroke, uh, when there is acute focal neurological deficit, speech disturbance, uh, uh, unexplained uh, persistent change in conscious level, consider a stroke if any of the following are present, new focal stages, new onset severe headache, ataxia, dizziness, uh, don't uh, execute the stroke based on the presence of fever, nausea, vomiting, and change in behavior. And when you suspect the presence of a stroke, you have to uh, 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 um, have a neuroallergy, urgent neuroallergy in the form of amber ivory, amber A, and amber B. Thank you. Thank you very much for your excellent presentation. And now we move to the next.